Here's five of my favorite apps in five minutes. These work with Apple and Android, and none of this is sponsored. So drop a comment below with your favorite apps to help make future videos. These solar panels need to be in the sun, and I need to be in the shade. With Sun Position, Sunrise, and Sunset by Stonekick, I can track the sun's path with an augmented reality filter. Now I know exactly where to set up the solar panels and when I'll have some shade. I originally downloaded this for capturing time lapses of a sunrise or sunset, and it's also useful near mountains as it may rise or set at a different time based on each peak. As a Windows user in the studio, Linux in the makerspace, and Android for my phone, I've always wanted an Apple AirDrop style service. Well, now you can. With the local send app, you can receive or send between multiple devices connected to the same network with a simple drag and drop. The transfer is encrypted and the software is open source. Now, for me, the speed can be hit and miss. Yeah, from my computer to my phone is currently 5.9 megabytes per second, which is nowhere near the max speed of my home network. So for large files, I would still plug into my computer, but for a quick couple photos or documents, then this local send option is a great option. Libraries. Remember those places with books inside? Well, you may have seen in my Supernote Mansa review a couple apps that I installed to get ebooks, audiobooks, and magazines for free. Yes, it's free thanks to libraries. Depends on where you live though. I know that in the US and Australia, you can log in with your library ID to BorrowBox or Libby. <laughs> I love to look at just random books. So I've got one on tapestries, activities to do in the wild, and one about aesthetics. I'm not gonna buy these books, but if I can just like flick through them here, save some money. Just like a library, not every book is available. You may need to join a wait list as well to get the loan, but once you've got it, it's easy to renew until you've finished reading the book. Bonus feature, if you live in the US, you can link your Libby account on your phone to your Amazon Kindle account and sync the books down to a Kindle e-reader. For some reason, the Kindle sync feature isn't available in Australia, but you can use your phone, just like this next app. In past project videos, you've seen me measure the difference in vibrations when creating my speaker stands, as well as comparing the bass shaker impact on a foam chair to a mesh chair by sitting on my phone. That's thanks to FIFOX, made by RWTH Aachen University in Germany. For example, not only can you measure the angle of something, but plot on a graph the shift of angle over time. Sometimes when I'm going up a really tall elevator when on holidays, I'll check the acceleration speed with the barometer in my phone. There's just so many features built in, and what's cool is you can export the logged data to an Excel or CSV file for further processing on a PC. Now, if you're like me, you might be scratching your head thinking, how can these apps be free? Doesn't make sense. Well, this bloke here, Grant Petty. He grew up in Australian Housing Commission as a kid, and many years later, in 2022, was on Forbes Billionaires list. And he did that whilst releasing free software and no subscription models. The red line that I can't cross is tying people's work up unless they keep paying every month. That feels like a mafia style, you know, payoffs to keep your business running. It just doesn't feel good at all. So get this, not only can you get a free version of the Hollywood grade video editing software for your computer, a free version on the iPad for an app, but also a free phone camera app. This unlocks full manual control. There's manual focus, I can see scopes. Most importantly, I can use 25 or 24 frames per second. I can also connect a USB-C SSD and select that as the right location for extra storage. The way we actually make money is we sell control panels, like big color correction panels and, and, and capture cards and a whole bunch of different products that, you know, that work with DaVinci. If you get good enough, you start sort of wanting some of those things. And then as you start to succeed, move up the scale. And then we start to get some payback. It's a long-term investment, but it's not a mafia style shakedown of $20 a month or $30 or whatever these things cost. Just because it's not popular and everyone doesn't do it doesn't mean to say it's not the right business model. I had the pleasure of hearing Grant speak in 2020 and I simply just shook his hand and I said, mate, I love what you're doing, keep doing it. He's putting the tools in creative people's hands and he's not restricting them behind a paywall. And the business model works because uh, I shoot on a Blackmagic pocket cinema camera. If you liked this video, thumbs it. If you loved it, sub it, and then go and download some free apps, bro. If you liked this video, I already told you that. Just, I don't know, dude, bye. <laughs>